フライブレスオブマジックキャスターインフィニティウォールマジックウォードホーリーライフエッセンスグレーターフルポテンシャルなもしここで言うわたわたわたわたわたわたわたわたわたわ Hello guys and welcome. In this video, I just want to quickly talk about Elden Ring DLC and what are my feelings about it. Now, I think there are like three major issues when it comes to Elden Ring DLC. The first one is the lack of replayability.、Uh, the second one is the quest design. And third one is how to say the contradicting game design. Okay, so let's start from the beginning.、Uh, you know, Miyazaki was k i n d of good. Like, he reached replayability,、um, you know, through quest design, through items, spells.、Um, in he, he did actually combine some multiplayer and single player elements.、Um, but the main thing how he reached replayability was through quest design and through social media, we could say. Um, oh my god, let's go. So close. But in my. In, you know, but there are so many problems when it comes to Elden Ring、oh、replayability. Man, the lack、go. of multiplayer elements. We have no rank leaderboards, no rewards for any PvP content.、Um, and in my opinion, the replayability and the, in Elden Ring is actually artificial, it's fake. There's no real replayability. It's more like, you know, this quest system. Is designed in such a way that you literally get punished. You literally have to replay the game multiple times to even get some of the items. It's how the game was designed.、Um, I wouldn't mind it, but it's, this system is so punishing, you know. They say it, it promotes choice, but I don't see any choice. I just feel like I'm being punished、uh, for playing the game, which is not a really good feeling you want to have in your team. Like, there are so many things, okay, I farm, I farm, but it's no problem, you know. but Something just p u s h it too much. Firstly, it can be farmed from any imp that uses the forked tongue hatchet, as you would imagine. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Holy shit. After 50 tries, let's go. Carrion Granger was my favorite Ash of War from the base game for many reasons, and they just gave us a better one. It's better by far. I want to explain this to you because this thing is ridiculously good in invasions. Maybe not. Okay, let's try some PvP now. I really like this new future where it shows you recent items got, okay? It's very good. You can check what you got, which items you got. You don't need to search them, it's very good. You know what is the craziest thing about Elden Ring? Like, the best social interaction Miyazaki could come up with was, you know, pointless messages on the floor and emotes, right? In 2024. Right, this is the best social system Miyazaki can come up with. No chat, no chat box, no chat bubbles, no voice lines, no voice chat, nothing like that, right? Nice. And、uh, Lucky. If, you, uh, if you have standards, if you、uh, have expectations, you see that Elden Ring is a pretty much outdated game, right?、In、no social interaction, no multiplayer elements,、uh, one of the worst quest design quests I have ever seen, right? Um, it literally p u n i s h players. It's not fun, right? I don't even want to play Elden Ring again, DLC, because it's just another job. I will have to restart the whole game again, do everything again, just to get one or two items. I'm locked out, you know? 
and I spent so much effort to trying to get these items. You literally get punished for playing this game. The more you take this game seriously, the worse it is. And at the end of the day, you know, because multiplayer content is so outdated, the action combat is outdated, the FPS limits, the 60 FPS, the pair-to-pair -pair connection, no rewards, no leaderboards for PvP, for multiplayer content, no replayability. And then you realize, yeah, it sucks. And, at the end, and on top of that, you cannot even reset character stats to actually be able to try all these cool weapons, spells in yeah, the game, wow, right? Wow. Because we have limited amount of larva tiers. Just like, there is so much outdated game design here that is almost insanity. But hey, with manipulation of social media and happy guys trying to make money, you know, it's a 10 out of 10 game, right? <laughs> now the second thing. There are, you know, quite a few issues when it comes to Elden Ring. The lack of replayability, uh, the lack of, you know, any social elements, the lack of any multiplayer elements, no rewards, not le no leader leaderboard, no factions for multiplayer content. Um, the quest quest design is pretty. Uh, it's really frustrating. You know, that's all I can say. Uh, there are quite a thing, you know. I like Elden Ring, you know, I, you need to take some pause from it, but at the same time it also feels just like a job, you know, that's the problem. It's the lack of true replayability, the lack of, you know, social interaction, the lack of, you see, and we can also talk about the game design here, you see, the game was designed around character building, around, you know, finding all these cool weapons and spells in open world and maybe later try them against bosses and players, right? Uh, but you can't really do that because we have larva tiers, you know, larva tier is a consumable item that you need to reset the character stats on your character and uh, you only have limited amount of them, so you cannot really respect freely, you know, you cannot really try different specs, different items, different builds, right, and you can already try like only one or two weapons uh, at max at the same time at most. Um, I feel like uh, if they would just include larva tiers as a reward in PvP content, uh, or something like that. Uh, it will be. Uh, it will solve many of these issues, and people will play the game much, much more. Uh, what Miyazaki really needs to achieve is more replayability, and he can uh, do that through multiplayer elements, through multiplayer content. But now he achieved replayability through quest design, which is actually really frustrating. This is not true really replayability, just because you add more numbers to a boss, nice. just because you um, design quest system in such a way that you can only do one quest at once and then like which other game requires you to restart the whole game to actually uh, progress to actually get the items it's, it's really frustrating especially because I, this is why i feel punished because i'm a complete unist you see i wanna when i do something i wanna do it correctly but man it doesn't ring really light it doesn't help you you know and that's just like the then we also have some other things let's talk about how Elden Ring was actually made for console. It was made for console players. And this is a problem because that's why we have 60 FPS uh, limit in the game. That's why we have pair to pair connection. All these are very, very outdated. It was made for Xbox, console Xbox like 10 years ago, right? No social elements, no multiplayer elements. We have no real replayability. Um, no, no player or social interaction. I mean, we have invasions, but that's like one versus three, or two, you know, it's like. And arenas are also pretty much pointless because nobody takes them seriously because we have no rewards, no leaderboards, you know, nothing like that, you know. And at the end of the day, you return back, you know, to the starting zone. Fuck you me. see, it's empty. There is no no players running around. The game doesn't feel alive, right? That's also an issue. They could maybe make a multiplayer zone, you know, that would be really cool for people, you know, to show their, their, their cool armor, to show their, um, you know, to, to have a faction NPC, to have some leaderboard, to see who's the best, which guild is, which player is the best, you know, like the lack of multiplayer and competitive elements uh, is also really a big problem in their games, you know.
And yeah, feel, uh, the game feels contradicting at times because, like, you know, they design the game around character building, but the game doesn't really promote that. Nice. Uh, the game doesn't really have, you know, they say it's an innovative game, but it's almost outdated. It's outdated in a lot of ways, you know. And all these builds, you know, all these builds require you to get, you know, specific items. Specific. I have almost all the items in the game. The only items I don't have are the items that I would need to restart my whole progress to get them again. You know, it's kind of annoying. And, and this is another problem with DLC content, right? You know, I, I missed one, I killed a boss too quickly. And then I got locked out of quest. So now I have to restart the whole base game do all these re things required so that I can go into DLC again and do all these steps again and it's, it's just work it's work for the item and once I do get the item I don't really have that much motivation to actually play invasions because they are so undercooked and even co-op is undercooked you can't use horse you like I don't know Hello guys I just wanna quickly talk about stats the importance of stats in Elden Ring like stats are everything and when it comes to stats we have these thresholds okay for example if you get 40 strength you can actually two hand your weapon and get 60 strength okay which is uh, one of the highest threshold for strength you can you can get now you can also get 40 dexterity and you if if, if you equip talisman uh, I think it's called Ra Ragnarok Icon, something like that, which increases your casting speed. This is like 20 uh, invisible dexterity, so you have a total 60 dexterity. Now, what does that actually mean? The highest this dexterity, the, the higher your dexterity is, the faster faster you can cast your spells, right? And strength on, not only gives you damage, but actually gives you bonus, bonus physical protection. Um, then we have arcane uh, arcane is not only good for bleed builds but it also allows you to uh, find more uh, to get more item uh, drops which is actually really huge especially in dlc uh, you have you have 30 faith you have 25 30 and 33 faith okay these are all very important in my opinion every build should have at least 30 if not 33 faith so you can get all the important buffs right you can get golden bow at 25 faith you can but you can get flame protect me at 30 faith and you can get a uh, scream of shaiburi at 33 faith and these are actually like if you play any content you always want to have flame protect me and golden bow activated uh, this is like 30 percent bonus damage and protections which is why not you know um, if I hold E and I right click on my mouse, I can change which weapon I hold in my, in my hand, which means I can actually use two ashes of war. And potentially even more. To change. You know what is very, uh, you know what is very good if you have poison at hand, so you can proc bleed, and you can proc poison, which means you can use Lord of Blood's Exhalation Talisman and King Kindred of Root. Okay, insane bonus damage. Hmm. If you poison him, let's see. Bam bam, uh, I need to get bonus damage. We hit him twice with my hand. Pretty good. Okay, so let's see what we actually got. But let's see. We got a spear apparently. I already had like three of them, are you kidding me? Why did I farm this? No idea. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I watch too much YouTube videos.
Oh my god, let's go. So close. Oh man, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Finally. 